What's up? Hi. How is your day going? Um, it just started. It's 8.13 and I'm still asleep, you know, when you're like exhausted, but then you can't stay asleep, but then you want to stay asleep, but you can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I think I have an idea. Okay. Yeah. Now that I've reworked the schedule with Jessica for No BS Active, we are definitely working overtime, but I'm also really excited to let the French man know that it's official. I'm coming. I'm halfway expecting him to be like, oh no, wait, I wasn't serious. <laughs> um, so I booked a flight. Wait, like for real? Like for Paris and stuff? Yeah. Oh, so you're coming? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's cool. Uh, okay. Well, no, I, I got my tickets. I mean, just one way. I got them there. So, so, it's, so it's not like a potential thing. It's, you know, you're really doing it. It's happening. Like, this weekend, I'm going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope you were serious when you told me to come, because... Well, you're the one so. you told me to come, so I'm coming. Yeah, but, like, I said, like, I opened the possibility but like uh, again i wasn't expecting you to do it but, <laughs> yeah, so it's actually happening so i'm like yeah i'm gonna get to show you around it's gonna be cool mm -hmm. uh, he's obviously not on my level of excitement um it does have me like uh, slightly like uh, okay you know i don't want to overreact and say i'm like concerned but it could have been nice if he was like maybe a little more enthusiastic well, what made you decide i mean it required a lot of organization on your end mm -hmm. did you somehow manage to get everything you know no figured out? Mm -mm. no same deadline same same stuff i mean i can get everything done it's just gonna be extremely tight and i mean i didn't get a return ticket right now i got it one way <laughs> oh okay Okay. Well, um, that's cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I guess like, um, when I get there, I'll just, well, first I have to book a hotel, then I'll get to my hotel and then maybe I'll fall asleep. But if I don't, you, I mean, if you want to, you can, you know, crash at my place, you know, but, uh, um, I don't know. Maybe that's not what you fancy. Yeah. No, I think I'll probably get a hotel. Like what if we meet? And we're like, oh no. You know what I mean? Well, we're just, oh no, and act accordingly, I guess, you know, and too bad. Uh huh. Where are we meeting? At an outdoor cafe? Yeah, probably. And then you show there, and I'll never show. <laughs> <laughs> right, I go, and then you just never come, and then I'm stuck in a foreign country by myself. Self. I mean, we could literally take one look at each other and be like, nope, I've seen what I need to see. I know when I'm attracted to somebody or not. He could look at me and be like, mm -mm, nope, she's too short, she's too sweaty, she's too American. You know, it could be any number of things. This is actually very terrifying. I'll see you in a few days. Absolutely. Well, it keep me posted. When we post see. is all in shadow. And I was looking at that and I just ran into these bushes. I am so nervous about getting on a plane to go see this French man that I literally cannot even drive straight. Um, but I'm really glad that my parents are able to come with me and see me off. So drive the car back to my place and then Todd will drop you off at your house. Okay. Because Todd's gonna okay. keep the car. I just wanna get on the flight to where like I can't get off, you know? Like, all right, I'm strapped in. We're going, nothing else can go wrong. I'm on the way. Hey. I was just uh, gonna let you know that I'm headed to the airport. Thank you. Uh, my mom and dad are here. Dad, is there anything you wanna say? Say, buddy. Dad, this is no. French man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anything you oh, I say? can't tell, but based on just some. My dad doesn't believe that you're French because your English is too good. That's Whitney's making that up. I guess I'm a victim of my talents. 
a victim of his talents. <laughs> well, good. That is, um, you, your English is very, very good. Well, uh, thank you. Well, we're getting ready to drop her off at the airport, but take care of her, will you? Let's make sure that I won't like uh, slaughter you or something. Right? Slaughter me? <laughs> um, I think at the very least, yes. Could you not slaughter? We we can do that. I mean, not slaughter you. You know. Okay, so reassure my father that you're gonna take care of me. Okay, here he is. You're. Uh, yes, you'll she'll be good. just. She'll be just well fine. Taken care of, you know. Uh, great. All of a sudden, we're talking about daughter slaughter, and <laughs> he's trying to be funny, but I think my dad's like. Say what? <laughs> Do what now? <laughs> oh, God. You know, that's the bar for this trip. You know, it's not, am I going to fall in love? It's just like, let's not get slaughtered. Um, okay, I will text you like when my flight's about to take off. Okay, okay, absolutely. Okay, and I will, I will I'll see you soon. Absolutely. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Do you like him? The bigger question is, he like you? Well, he's going to keep me from getting slaughtered. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, on a scale of one to ten, that's about a two. But <laughs> I have a lot of reservations about Whitney getting so involved uh, and so emotionally uh, involved with somebody that lives halfway across the world. Hearing that he's going to look after my daughter and keep her from getting slaughtered, I'm not sure that makes me feel any better. Well, lots of luck. Yeah. This is exciting, I know, for you. Lots so we of goosey. Keep us informed. What are your hopes and dreams? Uh, hopes and dreams that it turns out just like you hope it does. Uh, yeah. The thing that Babs and I want the most in uh, life is for Whitney to be happy. She's had some uh, disappointments in her life. She's overcome a lot of things, but for her to be truly happy with a partner in life that uh, she can share uh, her uh, dreams with would mean everything to us. Love you. I love you too. Thank you. Mm. Hey, what? Why are you crying? Because uh, you said I'm up. I'm going to go get my man. <laughs> Okay. Whitney deserves all the happiness in the world, and I hope everything works out. But I'm worried about it. What if he doesn't treat her right? What if he breaks her heart, or worse? I would just hate that for her. Let's have one more. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I will let you know as soon as I'm there and I've met him that I'm not slaughtered. <laughs> mm, okay. Love yeah, you. I want you to figure out what that slaughter comment meant. Okay. I think he was just trying to be Got funny, Dad. Mm. Love you. Mm. Love you. You have a great Best time. Lady. I'm excited. I mean, the next time I talk to my parents, hopefully I will be in love and one half of a couple. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Yours is to tell me bon voyage. Bon voyage. What if I go and it's wonderful? What if I fall in love? What if he loves me? What if I love him? What if it's everything I ever wanted?